In air refueling is the process of transferring fuel from one aircraft, tanker, to another, receiver, during flight. This procedure allows the receiving aircraft to fly longer, increasing its range or operating time. A series of mid-air refueling is limited only by the fatigue factor of the flight crew and by engine factors such as engine oil consumption. Since the receiving aircraft can refuel in the air, mid-air refueling can allow the aircraft to take off with additional payloads such as weapons, cargo or personnel and the maximum takeoff weight can be overcome by reducing fuel and reloading it in the air. Alternatively, the mileage on the runway can be reduced during takeoff due to the lighter load on takeoff. The two main airborne refueling systems are satellite and parachute, which are easier to adapt to existing aircraft, and the flying boom, which offers greater refueling rates, but requires a dedicated station operator. Generally, refueling aircraft are specifically designed for the task. Although refueling equipment can be installed on existing aircraft if satellite and parachute systems are used, the cost of acquiring refueling equipment on tankers and their receivers and the special handling of refueling aircraft, working in very close flight formation, make this activity only applicable to military operations. Currently, there has never been a refueling activity in the air on regular civil flights, originally done just before World War I. I started on a very limited scale for British civil aircraft transatlantic and then after World War II was used widely to increase the range of strategic bombers, refueling since the Vietnam War has been extensively used in large-scale military operations for a variety of operations, different military, during the Gulf War, Iraq's invasion of Kuwait and the Iraq War, all coalition aviation sorties were accompanied by air refueling except for some short-haul flights for bombing areas of Kuwait. FRL continues probe and drogue development, the USAF is still looking for a large number of refueling systems for its main bomber jets. To meet those requirements, Boeing developed a flying boom refueling system. There is no additional pilot who has to control the process of refueling in the air. The USAF used the probe and drogue system on some of its early tactical fighter jets. In the end, the flying boom became standard in refueling operations for all its aircraft. Air forces around the world have a mix of the two refueling systems. If the military flies F-15 Eagle or C-17 fighter aircraft, 